have finished beeping now. Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to another video. Today's video, as you can probably tell, is a little bit different because it's a different setting. I'm actually in the bathroom, <laughs> which is weird, but you'll probably understand with the title of this video. But I'm going to do like a little pamper sesh. And I just thought like I'd share with you what I kind of like use and do to my face. And yeah, because I just, I really like doing skincare and I haven't actually done it yet today. So I thought I would film it and show you guys what I use. And yeah, so I just thought I'd do a little pamper sesh and tell you what I use for it. All of these products are from the body shop purely because I'm an independent the body shop consultant so I do get a lot of stuff to try and I just found loads of things that were really really good that I like to use for my face so that is what I'm gonna do so yeah let's jump into the video so I just thought I'd share with you what I actually use to wash my face because I've done that off camera because it's just a little bit easier because I'm not near the sink um <laughs> so this is what I use for my face. It's the Alloy, Alloy. I can never pronounce this brand, which is quite bad, but yeah, this is what I use. Alloy, Alloy, Alloy. Let me see how you pronounce it. Hey, Sarah. How do you pronounce A-L-O-E? I found an answer. It's displayed on your iPhone. Hey, Sarah. Say A-L-O-E. I'm sorry, I can't. Sarah, how do you say A-L-O-E? How do you say A-L-O-E? Why is it beyond your abilities? Hey Siri, how do you pronounce A L O E? Siri's stupid. Siri's pointless. Why is Siri just not doing anything I ask it to? Hello. Hello, I said it right. Okay, so it's the Body Shop Hello Carving Foaming Wash and it's for sensitive skin and it's really, really good. I, I absolutely love this. And I have dry skin and it works absolute wonders. So that is why I use my face wash. Anyway, so now we're going to get into the actual pamper sesh bit. And I'm just going to tie my hair up to get that out of the way. It, anybody else get annoyed that their hair's in the way when they're like doing skincare? And then I just put this like little headband thing on to keep all the whiskey bits out of me. So that's gone. So, I look like an absolute egghead, but we're just gonna roll with it. So the first thing that I'm going to use is the Body Shop Chamomile, which is a really, really good range. And it's Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Now I use this for the whole of my face because it just works really, really good and it's suitable for sensitive skin. Um, but I just think it works well on the actual face now i don't even have makeup on right now but it works so well as like a cleanser so i just like pop it all around my face and get all like the dirt the dirt bits out of your face that you might not notice that you've got and i'm just going to use a cotton pad to do that now i do have a little mirror to look in so yeah so i'm literally just going to put Squeeze a bit onto the cotton pad and then I'm just going to put it all around my face. And even make sure I put it down the neck as well. I just feel like it gives it a little bit of hydrate to your skin. And I, my number one tip is to do your brows as well because you can get dry skin under your brows without realising because you just miss it all the time. You 
with your skin because you forget to do it when you're doing your skincare. But yeah. So that is done. And you can see I actually had dirt on my face. Is it gonna focus? I actually had quite a bit of dirt on my face, so it's good that I did that. Now it's not focusing on my face. So yeah, so that is my first step. Now, I'm actually going to use a face mask. So obviously I don't use a face mask every single day of the week, but I try to use it two to three times a week because that's what it recommends doing and it actually works really well for your face. So the face mask that I'm using is obviously the Body Shop again and it's the Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. And this is so good. So basically, obviously avoid the eye and stuff. You only leave this on for five to 10 minutes and you only apply a thin layer on and a little, a thin and a little bit goes a long way, that's what I was trying to say. This just helps get all the pores out and tightens your pores so they're smaller and it gets all that dirt out of your skin, which is really, really, really good. So, I love this face mask. It's my favorite. So, it looks a bit disgusting inside, but it's all good. I'm just knocking everything off. <laughs> yeah it's all good so i'm just going to pop that on my face now we wait five to ten minutes i wait until every little bit of it goes white as you will see soon and it literally like you can feel it working as well which is really really good it kind of like stings the tiniest bit but you know that's what it's working on it's a good sting it's not a bad sting i will wait five to ten minutes Right, that is all done. I can hardly move my mouth, so you're probably going to laugh at me because I can't talk properly, but I'm going to go and wash this off, so be right back. Be right back. Well, that was embarrassing. I was in the middle of taking my face mask off and the postman dung on the doorbell. <laughs> I was literally trying so hard to like really, really fastly take it off and then he nearly posted something through to say that obviously I missed the delivery and because my mum was expecting something, I thought I need to run down. So I literally had half my face mask still on and I had to run down and get the post, open the door to the postman. Oh my God, that was like the most embarrassing thing that I've ever, ever, ever had to do. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the face mask is now off and my skin feels so soft already. Like I can already feel a difference in my skin. So the next thing that I actually do is I put an oil on my face. So what I'm going to use is the Body Shop Oils of Life intensively revitalizing facial oil and this helps put so much more moisture back into your skin especially if you've got dry skin like i have it just helps so much and i think it just makes it more rehydrated and it's working for me so that is the next thing i'm going to put on so 
just going to pop some on my fingertips. Rub it into my fingertips so that it warms it up. And I'm just going to pop it on. And add more if I feel like it needs to. Again, add it onto my fingertips. Rub it in. Pat on. Could you have just noticed that the camera stopped then? Um, and then I'm just going to pat and rub to make it get everywhere that I need it to. And when you rub, rub upwards, it helps with the wrinkles in your older. <laughs> yeah. Make sure it goes all around your face, even under your neck. Again, rubbing upwards, don't want wrinkles. Making sure it gets into all them nuts and crannies. <laughs> and yeah. And then I'm just going to wash my hands because they're all oil. Now, the final thing that I'm going to use is the Aloe Soothing Day Cream from the Body Shop again. And this obviously comes in the same range as the foaming wash. And yeah, I have a night cream for this as well, but this is the day cream because it's still a day. And I'm just going to put that on like a normal moisturiser and use a cotton pad. Because I don't like get one out before it's like... I don't like using my hands um, on my skin because it just generates more dirt into the face. I know I did with the oils of life. But that's because you can't really use anything else with it apart from your hands. But yeah, I, I'm a big believer that you shouldn't really use your hands on your face when you're putting all this stuff on. So yeah, I just get like the tiniest bit out, pop it all over my face. I don't like to use a lot of moisturiser. And I'm just going to rub it in. Remember to do your neck as well. I feel like that's a place that always gets missed. And again, I always get them browsing, give them a bit of moisturiser. And, ladies and gentlemen we are done so that is everything that I use for my little pamper session um, I try to do this two to three times a week and these are the products that I actually use um, so yeah just feel like it makes my face so much more better and yeah so guys hope you enjoyed and if you use any if you use any of these products let me know and if there's anything else that you add to your like little beauty pump session also let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week with another video bye